we're going to work on looking at the 3D sensor on the Jetson bot. First, let's SSH into the Jetson bot and start up ROS. Then in another terminal, let's start up the joystick. This will enable the the game controller to control the Jetson bot teleoperation mode. Then in another terminal, let's fire up the RGBD camera, a depth sensing camera with RGB capabilities. Now on the PC, we're going to start RViz, and we're going to be able to look at the images and the depth information. This is a pseudo model of the Jetson bot. It's not quite done yet. Let's turn on the image. This is the RGB image coming out of the Jetson bot over the wireless network. Turn on a regular camera pointing at the Jetson bot. And we'll look around and see that the image is transmitted from the Jetson bot. Who's that good looking man? Next, we'll turn on the registered depth cloud. This gets a, the depth information along with the RGB information. And now we're going to rotate the model around a little bit so we can look at it from different directions. Notice that the turtle bot is standing still. It's all a synthesized view. All these items are fairly close. Let's turn the Jetson bot the other way around and look at some items that are further away. So in this shot you see the field of view of the camera. Now we're going to switch over to a point cloud view. It's registered with the image. This is a more precise version of the registered depth cloud. We we'll use this for things like the following capabilities. It's fairly computationally expensive. Another way to look at the information is as a color coded depth cloud like this. Notice that the frame rate now is keeping up. It's almost real time, even though we haven't done any tuning to actually speed up the processing yet. And we turn on laser scan mode. And what this does is simulate a 2D laser scanner. So it takes the depth information and kind of figures out the center line and figures out how far things are away from it. 
We'll use this later for simultaneous localization and mapping. And just turn the, the depth map back on.